Shah, uh, government of Nepal, and uh, the whole of Nepal, I would like to welcome you here in this uh, small mini program, uh, musical program of Nepal, in this small embassy. I'm sorry that today the temperature uh, is not very favorable. And then this is a four story house. Uh, and then this is why we are the air conditioner is also not working very well. So you have to bear with that. Uh, but what I would like to say is that uh, Nepal, I'm sure most of you know about Nepal. Uh, it's very famous uh, because uh, the eight of the ten tallest mountains in the world are in Nepal, including the Mount Everest. Uh, the Buddha, the Lord Buddha was born in Nepal, in the southern part of Nepal. Not only that, I think uh, it's a fantastic place for scenery, beauty, mountaineering and trekking, and you'll be amazed to know that uh, the number of days Americans stay in Nepal is 23 nights. Uh, that's uh, very high. Uh, and then the reason is that they would like to go not only to Kathmandu, the capital of uh, Nepal, but they also like to travel all over the places. But it's not the country of only mountains. It's not the only the country where Buddha was born. I think we have so many things to offer including our uh, cultural diversity. When we say cultural diversity, we have different ethnic groups, uh, different languages, and within a span of 100 to 120 miles, from north to south, we have uh, subtropical climate in the south to alpine climate in the north. So within a span of 100 miles, you can see all kinds of climates, all kinds of vegetations, and not only that, different kinds of people in the southern part and also in the northern part. So that makes Nepal uh, very amazing. Uh, but what I would like to say is that uh, that ethnic diversity, uh, the geographical diversity of Nepal has offered so many new things to Nepal, like uh, different cuisine, uh, different races as for example, and uh, also the music uh, and the culture and the dances of Nepal. So when we have to do dances from Nepal, we if we want to mobilize the people from all the regions, that could be easily uh, 20, at least 20 different types. So today, I think, uh, 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 with the coordination of uh, MSC uh, series program, we are very happy uh, to uh, host this program. Uh, Jeremy uh, Berry, uh, who has been the coordinator and instrumental in this uh, program, uh, has been very cooperative, uh, very nice thought that we'll have a joint program uh, with him. Uh, so this is a small place, but I'm sure you'll enjoy the music and uh, Jean. But before we start the music, then I'd like to uh, welcome Jeremy Berry. Thank you, Jeremy, for your uh, uh, this uh, hard work uh, and organizing this program. Uh, I'd like to welcome you and then uh, thank you. say that, firstly, get a little presentation for you. Norman Rockwell is one of our great American artists. And, uh, he's on the cover of 70 D Post a lot of many, many years. And this gives us a comparison of some of the photographs that he was inspired by. Excuse me, sir. I think he's really, this is the American America. Everybody uh, knows who this gentleman was. Uh, we have a little, you know, to Dr. His Excellency, Dr. Shankar Sharma. Warm regards and thanks from the If you turn around this side, oh, we can have a video. My closer to the book. I'm not accustomed to this. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Good. Not only that, we have photographers inside. So. <laughs> you can always crop me out. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you so much. I wanted to say, uh, uh, I have to give a lot of credit to, to Lisette, who was uh, sweating as much as I am. That's why I wore Guayabera today. This pure, this uh, genuine Guayabera made in China is really. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, uh, we've worked with 73 embassies, that's, uh, that's the latest uh, 25 of the 28 that we're in the countries. Central Asia Republics, Middle East, many in the Middle East, Latin America, etc. Because 
the real idea, and everybody knows this, but some people here are new. We're trying to promote unity through a musical diplomacy, to bring people together in a grassroots level. You don't have to vote on anything today in Congress, right? You know, it's really just people getting together and appreciating the culture of these various countries. And when we met at Passport DC last May, I came in here and it was wonderful food, there's wonderful music, and then we said, the ambassador here, and he said, here he is. And he came over with a special dress, so that's why I wasn't quite here today. And I think he was going to do that today. And uh, the hospitality was just amazing. And Shankar, it's such an honor to work with you. We sat down and drank some wonderful uh, reeds together. And and you know, tonight you're in for a real treat. But before I say that, I'd just like to say uh, the new brochures are going to be all delivered and we're going to have whoever wants for their friends because that's what really makes it go, is people that recommend to their friends the experience. You can put all sorts of ads in all the journals and everything like that, but that was in Washington with its immense cultural outlets, you know, that doesn't, they don't realize though, that this is a, a unique thing, I think, uh, in the world, and especially in Washington, and your support has made it possible. So we have a wonderful event coming up at the Romanian Embassy next week, we have the Romanian Ambassador President, wonderful uh, pianist from Romania, Andrei Nicoretz, you might remember him, you've been upgraded with the post. Like just go on embassyseries.org and our new website and you can see everything. And if you want brochures, let us know. Mm -hmm. I have the honor of hosting Rajan Mahat in my home. He came over uh, last year. talked all about Nepal music. And if you see him on the YouTube, he's uh, perfectly amazing. He has brought these wonderful people together. Fran, uh, thank you very, very much. And Welcome to all of you. I know it's going to be a, a very informative, interesting uh, type of program that you don't hear very often by authentic people who really know it. And then we're going to have some authentic... Now, here's my problem. Do you want Nepali or Nepalese? Both. Both goes well. Do you speak Nepalese or do you speak Nepali? We used to call it Nepali, but the Westerners made it uh, Nepalese. Nepalese. Uh, okay. Nepalese, Vietnamese, Cambodian, <laughs> Nepalese. Nepalese. I call it Nepali, but not from Nepalese. Naples. No. Everybody knows it's not from Naples, right? Not only, no, no, no. no. And we have some wonderful food over there. And then you can feel free to sit here or to go out on the lawn. Yes. And uh, there are some few chairs there. We can put some more and you can have. Uh, food out there and enjoy the gorgeous, uh, cool weather. Uh, the air conditioning is on, so we're going to make it Without further ado, I want to present Mr. Prim Raja Mahana. First of all, I'd like to thank you to all of you for coming here in the RNBC. And then my group, uh, our musician group, so my brother Manoj Mahat, he, he's playing Sharangi. And then uh, my friend Raj Kapoor, he's a top drumist in Nepal. Uh, he plays sit in the break of the chair, so we want to go on. Sure. And then uh, my friend Tara Linhart. She's an upper, upper Latin musician and a singer. And then I have my uh, friend Uttam Swester. He plays a guitar. Uh, they are really great uh, musicians here today. And then thank you, Jerome, uh, Jerome Berry, uh, for inviting us here. And then we are going to play our music, Nepali music. And then uh, on the behalf of uh, Nepal government on the behalf of our ambassador, His Excellency Ambassador, and myself, we'd like to invite you to the ones in Nepal to visit Nepal and see the beautiful Himalayan country and, and the beautiful nature. Thank you. And I'm now I am going to sing a song, and then we are going to play the uh, our Nepalese music. Uh, thank you. The 
this song. This song for you. And she will explain better than me, you know. And this song for you. We, we, we sing in the in Himalayan mountain. Oh, oh yeah. Um, so uh, this song is one of these songs, if you're going to go to Nepal, if you learn any song, well, you can learn any of Prem Raja's songs and make instant friends. Because um, people sing his songs all over, all over the country. But Resa Priyadi is on almost every CD I've ever bought in Nepal and, and sung in almost every village. So it's sort of an anthem of sorts. And uh, it's about, it's a love song, kind of like so many American songs or songs from all sorts of countries where your love is across the mountains and you want to go like a silk shawl flying back to, to your love.
Nepali song, but one, one person only in English, Moon in the Sky. That is we call Akasema Zoom. Uh, that's why uh, I, I, I don't the Moon in the Sky. Curry. In English, I don't have a word in a curry. It's a curry. 
but this made in the rice, some rice, you know, rice and uh, some black thing. Stone dust. Stone dust. Stone dust. They can make, and we have to do in a stone, and big stone like a, like this, and destroy and river the, all the time, more than one day, we have to do like that. Then it's going to stay in this, uh, I mean, this tree. So, so they do it in, in layers. So they put on the outside layer first, and then they take a smooth river rock and smooth it down, and then another layer a little bit further inside and inside, and so it takes all day. And we see this part, this is like a dean, dean, it's a base. And this is a travel, tongue, travel, travel. And this part we say male. In Nepali we say bhale, means male. Man, and this is a poti, you know, and this poti means female. <laughs> yeah, we say male and poti, male and female, both And actually, well, we have to understand this is bass part, bass drum, in doom, and this is tan, and this is treva. Now,
about the, the sirangi. It's okay. So, um, you know, I'm sure he'll let you look at it after you, you know, we're done here. But it's it's all made out of one piece of wood traditionally. Um, it's a it's a I have a picture of the tree, but I, if anyone knows what the wood is in English, let me know. But it's like sis sis with the wood sis. Yeah, I don't really know it in the Bali, but they have, traditionally they have a goat skin on the top, um, but uh, all in vogue these days is the reptile skin, which lasts longer and stays in tune better, which is the same thing that Appalachian instrument people have done. We've got metal strings and nylon strings instead of goat strings and gut strings, um, and skins to our banjos have gotten modernized. Um, uh, what else? Movable bridge on there, four strings. Uh, most of the, yeah, the bridge is movable. It's on an angle on purpose. Uh, oh, traditionally the Gondarbos make them, which is a musician cast, and um, they uh, they burn the holes for the tuning pegs traditionally in the side so that they're nice and smooth. Um, and. Uh, Anything else? Oh yeah, those for the Gandharvas in, in Nepal, if you go and you see them there. He's souped his up a little bit. Uh, he's got also a souped up bow. But most of the Gandharvas there will play with a bamboo bow with a horse hair. Um, which, you know, we still use horse hairs in our bows too, so. Uh, and but some of them have figured out you can use fishing wire and uh, it stays, it's, it's easier. And, uh, and also, traditionally, a lot of the Gandharvas these days, they have badminton racket the mesh things, you know, the blue and white things, in fact, that's what they use for the strings, which really is fine because guitar strings and classical guitar strings here are nylon, which is the same thing, except theirs has the blue and white stripes because you get a better deal, I think, on that. And then the metal, the metal string, I've seen them make it and they peel the insulation off of a, uh, they say it's a phone wire, but it may be electric wire, anyway, and then they string it up and it sounds good, you know, it works. So if you have any questions about that, let us know. So, so now I'm going to sing another very famous song called Simsimi Panima.
Tara and Danny, they teach me that uh, one Appalachian song, that's an English song, but I made it, I have in my CD here. Uh, in Brand the, new CD. Yeah, Nepali, <laughs> Nepali, in Nepali fusion, you can get one. <laughs> you can listen. Yeah. For all your friends. <laughs> yeah. Great Christmas present. I meant to announce that. I have, I have two English songs in this, uh, in, this uh, in my city. Now I am going to sing that Appalachian song. You did a good job. That very famous song. Alright, my home is across the Blue Mountains. And um, we've been doing some fusion. Uh, Together. Ha Appalachian, Himalayan. Um, Virginia, Nepali, it is, it's the same stuff, you know, really. Uh, and um, so, yeah, we performed at, at National Geographic, at the Rubin Museum, we, you know, done shows in Texas and Ohio, and, and the Smithsonian Folklife Festival, so it's a hot commodity, this, this Appalachian fusion, Nepali stuff. Anyway, so he learned this, uh, and uh, let's hear what happens.
Narcor. Let's put Narcor. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whatever, whatever. I, uh, we are ready. to do it. Uh, we're coming. <laughs> I have one very famous song. Okay, one interesting for the dance, please come to the plane. That's off. In the floor. It's very easy.